The countdown to the IFL kickoff classic continues. Florence Guelphie versus the Varese Scorpions Saturday at noon Eastern live from Italy. Justin Feldkamp and Mason Lowry continue their tour of the country and its teams tonight in Ferrara. Well, we really got the cultural and art experience today in Italy. We are in Ferrara and it was a fantastic day. We got a tour of the mayor's offices. Alan Fabri is the mayor. He was so hospitable and really jovial, Mason. What yeah, you know, any day that begins and ends with a castle from the late 1300s directly behind you, Castello Estense, which has one of the only full moats surrounding a castle anywhere in the world, is a good day. And you're absolutely right. Very much a man of the people, Mayor Fabri. We asked him when he was back in Toledo in the fall for the University of Toledo's homecoming game. We said, what was your favorite part about being in the Glass City for a week? His favorite experience walking through a pumpkin patch because it was something that a garden variety northwestern Ohioer might do on any given day. Really a great guy. It was awesome to spend some time with him. Yeah, and he really enjoyed the tailgating scene at the UT Rockets game as well. And he spoke to how beneficial it is to have Ferrara and Toledo as sister cities. Proud of this and, and to have this opportunity where it's an American dream for this sport that is uh, small and growing to have the opportunity to play in a uh, first division American stadium like this is, is an American dream of sorts. In addition to that, we were also able to take a tour of, I want to get this right, the Pino Cotecta Nacionale and Palazzo di Diamante. That translated means art museum inside the Palace of Diamonds, and it was spectacular. Very well said, and you know, that's a museum that rests on what is considered to be the oldest modern street anywhere in the world, an absolutely stunning building, and we had the good fortune to, to be here when we did, because after two years of going through extensive renovations, the museum opened up again less than two weeks ago, so we were some of the first people to go back through it, a monument to the art of the Renaissance with a really interesting Toledo connection. Yeah, a uh, multi million dollar restoration of the course of two years and there's a painting from 1502 by Lorenzo Costa that is on temporary loan from the Toledo Museum of Art to the Art Museum here in Ferrara. La storia di Ferrara, this relationship and and the history of Ferrara and this time period for art to have this relationship and the ability to bring back pieces like this and, and have that um, loan relationship with the uh, Toledo Museum of Art is very important because it's an important part of the history of the Renaissance and the history of the city of Ferrara as well. So art and culture in the midweek portion of our trip, but we are back to American football here in the coming days. Yeah, can't wait. We're going to go down to Florence tomorrow, spend some time with Fidenzi Guelphi, the reigning Italian Bowl champions. They'll be playing Varese Scorpions this Saturday on BCSN in the kickoff classic. Cannot wait.